we're dealing with one of those YouTubers, aren't we? Hello YouTube. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about something that I am very passionate about and that is feminism. Now, I am and always have been in my memory a feminist, but I'm well aware that not everybody knows what a feminist is. So I thought I'd make a video explaining what a feminist is and why you and everybody you know should be one. Well, if you're an alcoholic, I suggest you grab a few beers and, you know, get drunk because this one's got A feminist is Okay, just for the sake of my sanity and for everybody else's sake, I'm going to skip a few parts. The ones that are very obvious, of course. The points that I've already addressed. Huh? Okay, so about eight months ago, it was my little sister Sinead's birthday, and all she wanted was some Lego. So we went to Ken Black's, which is a toy store near where I live and she spent about an hour, which was the longest hour of my life, choosing what Lego she wanted to buy. So after about 60 minutes of wanting to stab myself in the eye with the Lego characters, she finally decided on Lego's uh, fire station and we decided kind of that we would buy little Lego superheroes which she really loved as a surprise gift. Anybody who has little siblings will be able to tell you that it took about a week before I was the one who had to pick up all of the tiny little bricks from the kitchen table. And when I did, I noticed something. All of her favourite characters were there. There was Iron Man, there was Captain America, there was Spider-Man. There was just one thing missing. A single female character. All the horror that you can't find a single female action figure of the out of Lego blocks. Um, you couldn't find Wonder Woman, you couldn't find um, X-23, Phoenix, um, Hawk Girl. You know, this is not just the Avengers I'm talking about, I'm talking about the entire uh, superhero universe. Okay? And why is it so goddamn necessary to even have a female action figure of, let's say, Wonder Woman? I mean, so what? So this made me think, who is my favorite female superhero from a movie? And I thought, Black Widow from the Avengers. But then it hit me. She's the only female superhero from a movie that I know, and... Then you pretty much don't know the superhero franchise at all. I mean, I'm not necessarily the biggest comic book fan, but I definitely do know more about the Avengers than you do. And, and the Justice League as well. Seriously. I got this movie. Catwoman. Catwoman! And that movie sucks ass, but at least it counts. So clearly you don't know shit about superheroes. There are, in the Avengers, there are plenty of female superheroes, such as, again, She-Hulk, uh, she um, let's see, what else? Uh, Phoenix, uh, Susan Storm, aka Invisible Woman. Um, I believe Hummingbird? I mean, I, I haven't played this game in a long ass time. But I know there are plenty of female superheroes. And there's also gay, lesbians, and bisexual super- Following that vein, the Avengers, the movie she's in, isn't even about her. She's just one of the only female characters in it. Perhaps maybe in the movies? But in comic books, de So, this just blew my mind. How could so many millions of billions of dollars be made from such successful movie franchises and yet still neglect 50% of the population? How 
in the world are then neglecting 50% of the population? The population consists of men and women, right? Uh, well, guess what? There are women out there who like the Avengers, and they don't even fucking care on how many women are in the Avengers. They just enjoy it. People like yourself... So, I did a little bit of research, and this is when I came up with something really cool. It's called the Be Bechdel Test. Now, the Bechdel Test was inv invented by Alison Bechdel in the 80s, and was invented to determine the level of female representation in a film. And it fucking fails. How do I know? Because one of the movies that I just showed is one of them, Catwoman! And we all know how terrible that movie is. Seriously, the Bechdel test is completely and utterly stupid. It doesn't make... It's, it only shows that there are two women talking to each other that's not about men. So fucking what? I mean, that's not like some sort of big fucking feat. Okay? A movie isn't great if two women just not talk to each other, not, you know, talk to each other that isn't related to a man. A great movie would consist of, you know, a good storyline, good characters, all those sort of things. But the Bechdel test is stupid. And places like Sweden is doing it because all of my favorite movies pass. When in fact, this probably isn't the case. Embarrassing numbers of films not only fail the Bechdel test, but fail it miserably. And why does a movie need to pass the Bechdel test in order to be a good movie? What does it say about the modern psyche that all of women's thoughts are perceived to be of men? Are you seriously that stupid? Like, really? Are you really that- When I know that that's not the case, and any girl will be able to tell you that that is not the case. Anyone in the brain, with, with a brain, can tell you that! I mean, again, are you really this stupid? Why is it that only one of the female-friendly Harry Potter books passed the Bechdel test when it was made into a movie? It is an absolute must that two women must engage towards each other, talk about something that isn't related to a man for at least an entire minute, because feminist... The others join the long list of those who failed, including the Lego movie. Anchorman 2. The Lego movie the Lego movie is a movie aimed at children, little boys, yes, but also little girls. It is a family friendly movie, you dumb What do they think when they go to the cinema and they say, Oh look there's that superhero, oh look there's that character. There's no little girls here. It just must be a boys thing creating things. Okay, I watched the Lego movie, and it's one of the best movies I've ever seen, and there's at least two good, strong, independent characters that I do know. One of them is a unicorn cat, which is called Unikitty, and another one, I believe her name was Wildfire, or Blackfire, and she kicks fucking ass. And what sort of group of people out there who would actually think that this movie, the Lego movie, which is a family-friendly movie, which means this applies to everyone, would actually think the movie is only made for little boys with little Lego thi action figures and stuff. It's embarrassing. No wonder only 2% of the UK's engineers are female. And so what? Since when do people care on what's between your freaking legs? Seriously, if a woman wants to become an engineer, fine. But just because there's only 2% of engineers in uh, that, that are female in the UK, doesn't mean... When we're being engineered since we're born, that being pretty is the most important thing. Now, I would love to stand... Well, sit before you today and tell you that the movie industry is the only place where sexism like this exists. You'll be surprised at the amount of things that feminists would say about video games. Video games like this one. Oh, it's sexist because women are getting killed. But it wouldn't be true 
in fact, you only have to look at statistics on domestic abuse to see that sexism is impossible to ignore. The so-called statistics that you like to come up with is absolute bullshit, as has been debunked by the likes of Christina Hoff Summers, who's by the 25% of the calls made to 999 emergency room are from a wife or girlfriend being attacked by their partner. It scares me that the way that we are being brought up is to protect ourselves against attack from men, from rape or physical attack. I just finished a self-defense program in my school where I was taught don't go down certain alleyways at dark, don't be caught on your own alone at night, make sure to carry keys so you can put them between your knuckles so you can fight back if they attack you, make sure you can't carry a knife because that's a weapon, you could hurt them, make sure to carry deodorant, you could spray it in their eyes, you just need to use the minimum amount of force so you can get away. All of these thoughts are drilled into each other's heads. We quiz each other. We say, Grace, what's the number one rule? Don't be caught out alone at dark. And I can't help but think, what's the number one, one rule being taught to boys in a boys' school down the road? And I can tell you for a fact that it's not don't rape. And here we are to this argument. Don't tell me to defend myself. Tell that person not to rape me. You do realize that it's pretty much drilled in our fucking heads that rape is bad. But still, people are going to perform rape. We only have one weapon against sexism. One weapon to brandish to say, hey... I'm worth just as much as any man. Feminism. The belief that men and women should be equal. The belief that women shouldn't have to wear a certain type of clothes to fit in. That men shouldn't have to downplay how emotional they are because that's gay. The belief that every man down the street is a potential rapist. The belief that men shouldn't call women bossy because that somehow give them a lack of confidence. Feminism. It's not just for women. In fact, every man should be a feminist. No man should be a feminist. Every teacher every doctor, every mechanic, every one of your uncles, your, your cousins, one of your nephews, your mothers, your sisters, your nieces should be feminists. Join the hive mind. Join us. Join us. You should be feminist. All of this makes me so angry and scared. And I think it should make you angry too. I am angry, as a matter of fact. I'm angry that people like yourself complain too much about the lack of w Thank you for listening to my rant. My name is Maria Cullen. Never forget that you are the most awesome person in the room. Well, thank you for giving me that compliment, but I still think you're worse than scum. I'm glad this video is finally over. Now I can go back to whatever I was doing. <sighs> Man, I miss my fucking laptop. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.